Hey, it's Jordan and welcome to another sewing video. I am super excited about today's project. I don't think I'm going to get it done in a day. That's also not my goal. So this isn't going to be what I'm hoping sewing Saturdays will be. Um, but it is, it is a spoopy related idea. I love Halloween and October and fall and I wanted to make something that was seasonal and spoopy because it's the time of quarantine and I think this year we have to reverse trick-or-treat um, instead of actually taking our little trick-or-treating which I mean we will to like grandma's house but it's not the same. Um, so I recently made an Edwardian outfit see if I can figure out how to put a picture in of that outfit that I recently made. And I loved it. I loved um, the finished product. I loved wearing it. I love the silhouette on me. It's a lot of fun. Um, my hat is ridiculous. And I wanted to create more from that style. Now, this project isn't historically accurate because I'm making it Halloween colors and Halloween themed. And I just, I don't even think that this color was made then or worn. Um, I don't care. <laughs> um, while historical accuracy is is loved and the goal for some projects, it's that's not what this is. This is a historically inspired silhouette, um, spoopy walking skirt. Um, and I'm very, very excited about it. So I'm gonna take you to my design and then we'll get into it. So this is, this is the goal, the dream. Um, I already own this shirt, I bought it off Etsy. This is the belt from my previous Edwardian outfit. And then this is the glory that we're going to make. Um, I just need to make the orange overskirt and then I'm gonna do three um, stripes of black velvet ribbon along the bottom here just to give it that a um, little bit of contrast because that's a lot of orange otherwise. Um, and then I'll be making a hat to match and the hat will be more thematic than the skirt. So the hat will for sure only be for Halloween because, or I guess whenever I want to wear something Halloween-ish, but the skirt I might be able to get away with wearing more frequently. Um, but this, this is the dream. I finished cutting up all my fabric and I brought it downstairs and looked through the instructions I realized that I don't have enough of the interlining um, to run across the bottom of the skirt to make it heavier and then also protect the inside of the skirt because if that gets dirty who cares um, I just don't have enough of it I, in my defense I thrifted a piece of material that I thought would be a good texture um, it's just not enough which is okay so I placed an order for pickup and I will get it tomorrow morning um, it'll force me to run my errands in the morning which will be great so in the meantime with the rest of my sewing time that I set aside for this evening I will start working on cutting out the pieces for the hat and probably start assembling it because I've got time um, there's a lot of hand sewing involved in that, so I might just go upstairs and watch some spoopy movies and hand sew away. Um, I have a couple other projects that I can work on. Also, it's the weekend, it's my sewing time. So we'll just, we'll see what I can do and we'll check back in when I've got my fabric.
we're wrapping up for the night because it's 11.30 and I should be in bed. Um, we made good progress on the hat. I say we. Um, eh. So for the, the crown of the hat, I have the wire on the um, buckram. It's not buckram, it's interfacing. This is really thick interfacing. Um, wire sewn in and then I've got the lining fabric in and then I've got my fashion fabric folded over and and ready for hand sewing so this will get this will all get whip stitched down for um by hand not for but by hand so that that piece is completely set for hand sewing um what's left to do by machine or before I can start really piecing the hat together is um I have the top of the hat done so it's got the the one round of wire in there um, I did do this by machine and so my, I sat like this because it's very stressful so I, I really need to be done. Um, but I need to put the lining fabric on it and then I'll put the, the shiny orange fabric um, and then that'll be completely ready for hand sewing. And then the third piece of the hat is the brim. <laughs> um, again, by machine I sewed the, the two halves in to make a whole circle. And then I put the first round of wire in. I have two more rounds to go. I've got one in the center and then one along this inner opening where the crown attaches. Um, I literally can't do any more tonight because I am out of wire. It's, there's no more. Um, so I'll have to pick that up tomorrow when I'm doing errands. But overall, a really successful first day on this project. Um, should have some time tomorrow to at least cut out the interlining for the skirt and then keep plucking away at these hat pieces. Um, my goal is to at least have everything set up for hand sewing during the, the work week. Um, I can easily pick up a, a needle and thread and work on the hand sewing even while I am actually at work work. So um, I'll have that set up and then I would then I'm going to focus back on the skirt if I've got additional time tomorrow. Um, but yeah, overall, great first day. Um, but I'm tired and I'm going to go to bed and I'll check in with you tomorrow. working on the hat while I did get my fabric for the interlining fabric for my skirt I just didn't feel motivated to do it so I've continued focusing on the hat because it's gonna be a lot of fun here in a little bit um, 
but I've got the got everything ready for hand sewing. I've done all of the machine sewing of the wire in now. Um, so now it's just hand sewing everything down. So like here's the top of the hat. I've got to whip all of these in so that it's nice and tight and then I will put um, lining over it. So that's all um, sealed up. And then the brim of the hat has this black fabric. This will be on the inside of the hat. Um, clearly not basted down yet. Um, next to my head and my hair and then on the top it'll be the same orange fabric and then um and then it gets to be the fun part which is all the trimmings i will be using black velvet ribbon on the hat um to tie it into the skirt and then i've got a bunch of fall foliage that i bought um I don't know what all I'll use, so I can't tell you, um, but when we get to the design part, I'll, I'll definitely take you along. Um, but I'm going to go upstairs and um, hand sew while watching TV. Um, might get some footage of the hand sewing, otherwise insert generic hand sewing footage here. Yeah, have your brain play that. Um, but yeah, a little bit of change of pace, but this is what I was motivated to do, so that's what I'm sticking with. Um, and I'll check in later. week later from when we started um, lots has happened with the hat nothing else has happened with the skirt um, I did get a lot of hand sewing done this week um, what's left is to tack this um, this this band around the top I'm only gonna baste it and tack it in places so that I can stick the foliage um, in the ribbon to give it a more secure spot and then with the brim um, Obviously I need to attach the crown to the brim, um, but I need, I thought I would leave it open as I'm trying to put this um, velvet ribbon down. So just so I have more room for movement, but that's what she looks like. And then after all of that is sewn, then the hot glue gun comes out and we put um, lots of the foliage in. Um, and then I need to get back to the skirt. But the hat looks really good so far. I'm, I'm pretty pleased. So it's the Tuesday before Halloween. I have not touched my skirt since I first cut it out two weeks ago. I've done a lot of hand sewing on the hat, which is right where I left it off. Um, it's time for me to get to the skirt because if I want to wear it on Saturday I gotta get to it um forgive my messy appearance it's the middle of Quidditch uh for a virtual running group that I'm a part of called Potterhead Running Club um very nerdy uh international virtual running club where the primary um not primary the majority of the funds from races go to uh, charity partners for each race and Quidditch is 
um, a 11 day event where you walk as many miles as possible. There's a limit of 15 miles a day, um, but essentially you're walking as many miles as possible to help your team win Quidditch. And I'm on day four and I've done 40 miles and I am, I'm beat. I don't, I don't do this much walking in a week. I only do it this much for Quidditch. Um, I'm very motivated to do it, very excited. Um, but I'm, I'm wearing comfy clothes because I'm, I'm done walking for the day. Um, but I've got my coffee at 8.30 at night and I've got champagne. So there's that. But I'm gonna work on the skirt, so um, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and um, listen to other people talk about their sewing projects and I'm gonna hopefully stay motivated enough to, to get the skirt done. I'm, I'm pretty happy that I don't have to make any underlayers because I've done that already. Um, we'll see how far I can get. Everything on the skirt is sewn together. Um, now I need to do the hem at the bottom, but we've got the waistband in. And I need to put in hooks and eyes because a binder clip is not how I'm going to keep it together. But look at that lovely train. But yeah, hem that baby and then, um, then the, the velvet ribbon comes out. And we're going to put along the bottom there.
is all sewn together now. Um, all of the hand sewing is done. Now we get to trim it, which is very exciting. So I will get out the flowers and we'll start arranging and then the hot glue gun comes out and we start a fixin'. <laughs> 